All right, ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Leviathan here again with Mr. Ari Lehman. You may not recognize him, but he was the very original Jason Voorhees, the little boy drowning in the lake. He was also seen in some footage that was uncredited in parts two and four, I believe. Is that correct? That's right. That's right. Reverend Leviathan, it's a pleasure to meet you and, and, and to, to, to meet all of your readers of Darkest Goth. I am, as you say, Ari Lehman, the first Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, the boy in the lake himself. Okay. Here at the Scarefest in Lexington and happy to be here. All right. Now, I've read before that you got the part because the director just said, can you swim? <laughs> well, the story is I had been in a film which was kind of like the Bad News Bears of Soccer, which was directed by the same director who did Friday the 13th, Sean Cunningham, and also the same writer, Victor Miller. And uh, so that movie, although it was a lot of fun, you know, soccer wasn't very popular in 1978. So. Sean decided, cut his losses, inspired by the film Halloween, he thought up of this title, Friday the 13th. And Victor came up with a camp, a summer camp scenario. So they needed a, a little kid in the lake. And yeah, I was just hanging out. It was summertime, you know, just doing my little Ari Lehman thing in, in Westport, Connecticut in 1979. And I picked up the phone, and it's Sean Cunningham. And he says, hey, we've got another job for you. Can you come down to the office? I said, well, sure. He's like, good, I want you to look at the script. Just one thing, can you swim? And I said, yeah, I can swim. I live right by the beach. He said, great, you got the part. You know, okay. So. Now, remember to take those swimming lessons. I think I also heard that in the very end of the movie, when you jump out of the water and attack... Uh, the other actress. Yes. That Adrian King playing Alice Hardy. Yes. Yes. Uh, I heard that before you had done it, uh, and she actually wasn't expecting you. Right. And you well, it was all the same day. Actually, we we did it in two takes. Mm -hmm. The final scene was done in two takes because yes, Tom Savini, the famous uh, special effects makeup maestro, had said, please don't let anybody in the uh, cast or crew see the makeup that we spent four and a half hours doing. Don't let them see it. So even when I went out into the lake, she was looking one way, I was, you know, coming, so she couldn't see but the back of my head. So when I jumped out of the lake, sure enough, she was startled to the point where she fell out of the boat and she said, oh shit, you know, and splash. And so then, okay, they ha I was like, oh no. You know, because I came out with some ferocity, you know. I was like, oh, she killed my mom, you know. When I came out, I don't think anybody knew I was going to come out with that energy. Mm -hmm. And so, then what they did was they had to blow dry her hair and dry off her shirt. And the sun is setting. So they're like, okay, we have one more take. But this time, instead of coming out with the, you know, attack, just kind of do it almost slow motion, you know? So what you see is the second take became the attack. And when you see, they just do a, a, a half a second of from the first take where just the whole screen is filled with little Jason covered in muck. And that's where everybody dropped their popcorn. Mm -hmm. Okay, now of the Friday the 13th franchise. Do you have a favorite of all the films that have come out? Well, um, you know, I think they all contribute something to the series. Uh, I particularly like uh, part three. I, I like part four. I like part seven, John Beekler with uh, director with uh, Kane Hodder being the, uh, the first Kane Hodder film that, that playing Jason. And I think that they defined a lot about Jason Voorhees in that film. I mean, John and Kane really came together to kind of do an homage to the whole series, as you can see from the costume and the makeup. It really reflects all the pain and injuries that Jason has suffered. And uh, they did that with great accuracy. 
I, I also like the concept of it being psychic Tina and where she blows the mask off his face with psychic power. But that doesn't appeal to everyone, but I, I enjoyed it. I also think each Friday the 13th kind of reflects the time that it, it's in. Mm -hmm. So at that time, there was a lot of interest in uh, psychic phenomena. And, you know, there was even TV series later, like, you know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and, then, you know, Charmed and that whole kind of thing of the girl with magic powers kind of thing. So I think uh, it reflected the times, but I, I, like, I like that kind of thing. And... Uh, I thought they, they did a great job with that film. Mm -hmm. Now, I've noticed a few Friday the 13th fans that I've spoken with who they like all the films, and they're familiar with you. However, they know nothing about your band. So uh -huh. what can you tell us about First Jason for those people who do not know about it? Well, thank you, Reverend Leviathan. I appreciate that. Yes, First Jason is a horror comedy rock band in which I play the world's only heavy metal guitar that's on a giant machete. And uh, we have songs like Jason is Watching, Jason Never Dies, Machete is My Friend, Sink or Swim. Uh, that's all for our first record, uh, Jason is Watching. And um, now our new album called Heed My Warning, we kind of look to keep it dark but kind of expand outside of the, the realm of just Camp Crystal Lake and look to different themes. Although on that uh, album, there is one song about Jason called Jason's Bride, in which uh, it talks about how Mama got Jason a, a mate. And, uh, you know, we did a, a, a video where it's a lot of fun. And Jason meets a female Jason. And you can see that on YouTube. But first, Jason has had the great honor and, and fortune because of the open-mindedness and open-heartedness and open-earedness, I guess, of the metal community that they've, they've given us some time to develop a sound and to develop a style. And uh, ultimately, it turns out that we're kind of hard to categorize. We don't fit in the punk genre. We don't fit in the metal genre. But we're welcome at punk or metal shows and you know I, I think that people should uh, you know go and check out firstjason.com and uh, check us out we have a YouTube channel and we've got some new videos out we have a new video called Heed My Warning that was shot at the Bartonville State Asylum which is a haunted abandoned asylum in Illinois in Peoria so we're having a lot of fun with that and we're about to do our new album which uh has a working title of American Original, in which we're kind of going to reflect upon the experiences that we've had as a band traveling around the country. But you know, that line comes from the opening scene where Annie is in the tr truck with Enos, the truck driver, and he says, Oh, you kids, your heads are full of rocks. And she said, Oh, you're just an American Original. <laughs> and so we kind of took her little, her little sarcastic snide little line and turned mm -hmm. it on its head but uh, that's what it's all about friday the 13th all right well before we wrap it up uh i saw that on facebook you had posted about a new movie that you're going to be in coming out next year called pi day die day oh yeah so we can just tell us shot pi day die day as a matter of fact last weekend in toledo and i played principal hayward who's the principal of a high school believe it or not, and uh, it, it, the, the shoot went really well. It's a great team, and uh, that's, of course, it's all about March 14th, Pi Day, so that'll be released next year around March 14th. But also, I've been cast in Victor Miller's new film, which is called Rock Paper Dead. Also, I'm in a new movie called Camp Killer, another one called The Barn, and uh, uh, another one that's going to be released very soon called Easter Sunday. So, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, we're doing a lot of uh, new independent horror films because a lot of stuff is shooting in the Midwest now. So uh, maybe it's good that I live in Chicago. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, Mr. Lehman. Thank you. Thank and you so much, Reverend. <laughs> yes. And just remember, Jason never dies. And check out firstjason.com to get your own bottle of Jason's own 
slasher sauce. Oh, that's right. Yes, in the mood for something hot and saucy. That should certainly spice things up a bit. <laughs> Not available in stores. Firstjason.com.